Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I apologize for the format that I'm going to be filming in today. I am currently fighting a nasty cold and we are nine days away from leaving for our trip. So I really didn't feel like being on camera, but I figured with what I'm actually doing in this video, there's no real need to see my face. So if you're like upset about that, I apologize. If you do want to see my face in other videos, this is like one of the many of my series leading up to our Disney World trip. So if you want to see my face, there's lots more with my face in them, <laughs> but today it just wasn't it. So what I am doing today though, is I'm going to be packing up my diaper bag for the airport and our arrival day. So I'll kind of explain more why I'm packing certain things the way I am and you know, whatever as I go. But this is definitely going to be with the airport travel in mind as well as once we've gotten to Disney and all of that. So a little bit of a pre uh, like a explanation. Our plane arrives at 8.45, which means that we are taking off here in Missouri at 5.20 in the morning. So it's gonna be a very, very early flight, let alone like we're gonna have to get up really early. And so my daughter is not even a year and a half. She's a little under a year and a half. And so she's likely going to be in her pajamas whenever we get her up. My son is old enough to wear, like he'll probably wanna get up and change and do all of that. But I'm not gonna really worry so much about that with my daughter. So I am packing her like a day outfit in this bag from when we arrive. Uh, but like I said, I'll kind of explain that a little bit more as I go. So obviously I do have a stack of diapers here. I also plan on packing a sleeve of diapers in my suitcase uh, just to ensure we have enough because I don't feel like placing a grocery order for diapers when I have a ton of them here with me already. And then I also don't want to order too many and then still have to bring some home, if that makes sense at all. So I figured this way would be easier for us. Um, but that's that's sort of that. So this is the boxy shimmery mini diaper bag by Petunia Pickle Bottom. I have a couple of videos talking about it. So if you want to know a little bit more about that, um, you can check out that. Um, I will link them, link that video above for you. But that is what I'm going to be using in the airport. Oh, I forgot to grab what I need for the birth certificates. So since we are flying, I did have to make copies of my children's birth certificates. So that's what these are. Um, I don't plan on having them in the diaper bag. I plan on having them in the mommy bag, which I was going to also pack with you. But um, like I said, we still have nine days before we arrive. And so I don't want to pack too much in something that I've been using because I have been using my mommy bag. So I'll probably pack that in the actual packing vlog itself. But as of right now, let's just stick to the diaper bag. So something I already have in here is the placemats. I use these around town as well um, when we go out to restaurants and things like that. I've had them for a really long time. I actually bought them whenever I had, when my son was littler and I never used them. So I've only used them since I've had my daughter. So there's enough in here for our trip, I would think. My daughter, we're probably gonna do mostly quick service meals. Um, and so I plan on just kind of keeping my daughter in her stroller. So I don't feel like I need a whole bunch. I think there's probably about, I think I counted there's five of them in here, which will be plenty. So. That's, I'm just gonna leave them in the sleeve that they belong in. And I'm gonna just tuck it in. There's, I don't know if you can, how well you can see. There's two big pockets here. There's one here and one here. I'm gonna tuck it into one of these pockets. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of shuffling around because um, it's a little bit early for me to be packing this, but I wanna get it done and out of the way so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, and I have another diaper bag I can use for around town until we leave, so this will be just fine. So since they're sitting here, I, for the sake of the video, I am going to be putting them in here, but I will be taking them back out and washing them and doing all of that because I haven't gotten to that yet. But I just figured for the sake of the video, I will pack them. At least that way, they're already packed. I can take them out and wash them as I need them, even if I don't do it ahead of time, which I will be doing. <laughs> Rest assured, I will. So I'm going to put these in the two bottle pockets on the side of this diaper bag. There's one here, and then there's also one in the same area right there so I have two bottles 
And then she will also have another one with us during travel. So there'll be at least a total of three, not even including the sippy cups that we will also have. So I also have um, a full pack of unopened wipes. These are the Kirkland Signature brand. I really like these. They're giant packs, so they should last us well over our trip, but I like to know that I have a brand new pack because we use them for other things as well, obviously. So sticking that in there, which actually, I guess the bottom will do fine. I'm gonna stick my daughter's diapers in there while I'm at that. She did get into these because she's just at that age where she's into everything. Um, so they're not looking very pretty, but they're just diapers and they're clean. So I'm gonna stick these to that inside pocket. Actually, I think I'm gonna put these on the bottom bottom. So I've just kind of squeezed them in here beside the wipes. So another thing that I have that I plan on bringing is this tech bag. So this is going to have, sorry that it's backwards. I'm having to film with the mirror camera. So I'm going to have um, quite a few things to pack in here. I don't really have anything in here right now, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to be putting it in here still. But one thing I do have is a iPhone charger. But things that I will still be adding is like a stroller fan charger, my external battery charger, um, the actual plug-in like USB bricks, things like that. Um, but like I said, more of that will be done during my actual packing vlog. So like I said, if you want to see that, stick around. I, I truly apologize. I, like I said, I'm finding a really nasty cold all of a sudden, and it's just really making it me sound really terrible. So I apologize. So something else that I'm planning on bringing is my daughter's muslin blanket, which I've talked about this a little bit in other videos that my daughter is a huge muslin baby. Um, she really, she like has to have a muslin blanket with her like at all times. And so um, I have one that's gonna go in the diaper bag and then I'm gonna pack quite a few more in our actual luggage. So I'm gonna put this in here somewhere. Might have to fold it down a little bit more. Something I love and hate about muslins is that they're really thin, but they're really large. Um, so they can actually fold down pretty well, but they still take up a little bit of space. Another thing I'm going to be packing is I have some antibacterial wipes and then I'm also packing, my son still uses um, a pull up at night. And so I'm going to be putting one of these in here just on the very off chance that we lose our luggage or, you know, whatever, something like that was to happen. At least if we don't have our luggage by the end of the night, I will still have something for him to use at night until we receive our luggage, which like I said, I don't feel like that's going to be a real issue, but it's good to have. And then I have this little side pocket here that I'm going to attempt to put the antibacterial wipes in. Oh yeah, that works fine. Another thing I have is a small thing of baby wipes. I just, both of those are the Target brand, really cheap, but I got these more so for hands that I will actually probably put in our stroller um, for our arrival day and um, while we're walking through the airport, you know, whatever we might need it for. Um, I like to have these smaller packs like right there in the stroller on hand. So I'll put that in that same little zipper pocket here. And then while I'm at it, I do have these little teething wafers. So um, this is just the Good and Gather brand. Sorry about my angling here. This is the Good and Gather brand. I did find one by like the Happy Baby brand, which is what I was initially planning on buying. I found a big box of like 36 of them for about $13. And then I got to, to Target and I actually found these and these were $3 with 12 of them in each. So it came out to being even cheaper. It was like $9 for three boxes. That would equal the same amount as paying $13 by the one brand. So I'm going to put this box in my diaper bag and then I have two more other flavors that I plan on packing in our luggage to have while we're at the parks and travel day home and all of that. So I'm just gonna pop that one in here as well. Put that on top of the wipes. Um, I don't really have a problem 
like burying my wipes and my diapers only because I also have a diaper clutch that I have kind of shown in my stroller setup that I will link above for you as well that I will have attached to our stroller while we're actually in Disney but for like I said for traveling and things like that I want to have um everything in here and I'm going to be packing the diaper clutch in a in my luggage until we get there okay so this is her little outfit I'm going to actually put that in one of these front pockets here inside of where you change them I don't know how well you can see that but when you unzip this front little pocket here it folds out to being a changing pad and so there's two pockets that are right here I'm going to just put her little outfit in this front pocket so that way I can just lay her down and change her outfit that way so that will be in there and then I actually am planning on bringing a pair of silverware for her so I only have her fork right now I was on the hunt to find her spoon I don't know what happened to it there's a good chance that it got thrown away somehow because it's just like from the dollar dollar tree I think um, but I do want to bring that for her because she is really independent right now and so she likes to be able to feed herself so this would be good for her to have because I think the plastic bigger ones would might be a little bit harder for her. So I'm going to actually get a um, Ziploc and put that in here and then I'll probably put it in this pocket as well. Okay, now that we're down to the nitty gritty, I am going to be leaving these two side pockets open on these two sides because like I said we're going to have like a bottle with us still for traveling and then I want to have and they're insulated on the pocket so I want to be able to have space to buy her a packaged milk and put it in this side and then have an empty bottle on the other because she's going to need a bottle for like to probably as soon as we get up <laughs> and get her into the car and have on the way to the airport and then I'm going to rinse it out and get through security and then buy her some milk and have that for the plane. So that's kind of my little plan there. So now I'm down to just our entertainment. So I have this little sketch thing, which is supposed to be locked, but it's still doing things. And then, um, you know, I've gone through all this in my pre-packing haul. If you want to check that out, I will link that for you as well. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not even showing you. So I have these things, I packed them all, or I showed them all in my pre-packing haul. I can't remember what I named that video. I will link that above for you as well. Um, so I'm not gonna go all through all of those things, but I do plan on having these for the kids on the airport. And whatever I can't fit into this, I could also have my husband put in his backpack because I think he is planning on having a backpack of his own to have for the kids or you know even for himself for his headphones and things like that so maybe i'll just focus on putting briar stuff in the backpack on the back of bag right now which this thing is packed to the gills quite literally there we go and then her little book here so that is what it looks like but i've got actually quite a bit of things in here and then i can make these fit if i really truly wanted to um, let me see if I can get them to fit just so I can know if it gives me too hard of a time like I said I can also put them in different places so that my, my husband can carry them or whatever so there's that and then let me see there is that all right I'm actually quite proud of myself this thing's gonna weigh a ton but everything is in here. Let me see, it has a clip here I never usually use. There we are, and then it's magnetic. So there we have it, everything is in there. Like I said, I do have um, my mommy bag that I do plan on still packing. I have a list, I think I left it upstairs. But I do have a, oh, there it is. So let me give you a little glimpse of my list here. So this, everything's backwards, so I apologize. This is my chaotic list. So I, a few things I don't actually have in here included 
in this diaper bag that I will have to either include before we leave or put it in my mommy bag is the some of the kids like on hand medications um so like ibuprofen tylenol that sort of a thing frankly I want to just pack that in my luggage with the rest of the first aid kit but um I guess like leading up to it with me finding a cold right now we'll just have to see how that goes leading up to our departure like all that um but that might end up having to fit in here as well we'll have to just see but I have all this that I plan on putting inside of my mom bag on top of like all the other things that I need to do so some of the things this after this video I'm going to be doing a pre like a pre-trip hustle basically it's just going to be me getting all the last minute things that need to get done before packing but also like before our trip so it's like that in between like trying to make sure you have everything done but then also having like not exactly like packing packing yet if you get what I'm saying so I plan on doing a video about that um so some of the things that I still have to do is switch over everything in my wallet I bought the kids gift cards to have them on a budget so I will go over that a little bit in the next video um I have a tripod that I want to pack in there um my on hand meds I have gum I need to get the mousekeeping tips kind of sorted in the cash out and all that. And then my son got a Valentine's Day bag, which I will also go over in another video coming up soon. And then more sanitizing wipes and baby wipes to have on hand because this will hang in the front of me. Um, so having it have like that kind of stuff that I can just reach in there and grab what I need is gonna be really, really handy. So I know that this is a little bit different as far as my videos go because I'm sick and I don't really feel very well. So I do apologize about that again, but I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope maybe it was helpful to kind of have an idea as to what traveling might look like for us and why I did this, the things that I did. So anyways, that is kind of the deal with that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I have a lot more coming still on top of our trip vlogs. So I hope you stick around. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in the next video.